Howdy, Edward Roberts again. Previously, we discussed hot fires and whether or not the invocation of that rather dubious term meant that a fire was intentionally set. Well, on this issue of things you might hear your fire investigator say, we want to talk about fast fires. Now, what is a fast fire? Uh, I believe that's rapid fire. Let's look at a demonstration. Here we have a relatively small fire. As you probably already know, fire generally burns up and out. This is dependent upon a number of factors including vertical obstructions, fuel size and placement, and ventilation. But for these purposes, keep in mind up and out. Given that, one would expect this fire to grow more quickly vertically than laterally. And we can make it grow even faster by adding a flammable liquid. But we can achieve the same result by adding a little of our flexible urethane foam. And we already know there's lots of material like it in the typical home. That's exactly why we need to be careful about how we describe the rate of growth of fire. For instance, fast fire. Let's step aside and take a look at the term accelerant. Now an accelerant is defined as a fuel or oxidizer, often an ignitable liquid, used to initiate a fire or increase the rate of growth or spread of a fire. And we'll analyze accelerants a little more at a different time. But for now, the key words are growth and spread. Now, let's get back to our furniture fire. As we've demonstrated, the rate of vertical growth of a fire can be increased naturally, as with the foam, or artificially, as with the flammable liquid. So great care must be taken to determine which it is. But a fast lateral spread, well, that may very well be an indication of an intentionally set fire. A couple of caveats to keep in mind here. An accelerant can certainly be an ignitable liquid. But it could also be other materials used in an unusual way, such as couch cushions stacked on top of a dining table, or in a kitchen, or across a floor. Also, when determining fire growth or spread to be fast, carefully consider the parameters concerning when the fire started. Now, intentionally set fires are often reported by an uninvolved third party. But what's known about when the fire actually started? Now, fire patterns may provide proof if the fire is brought under control early enough. But other information may be critical. Information such as when the policyholder left the property, the last time someone saw the property not on fire, security system data and videos, power meter readings, and other such information that can be used to establish a reliable timeline. So while a fast fire may be indicative of an intentionally set fire, be very careful at how you establish that fire to have been fast in the first place. Thank you.